Hello, this is Nikki in Niagara coming to you from Niagara Falls, Canada. Today I am going to be showing you my coloring setup and uh, my supplies. I've had a couple of people ask me either in the comments or via email to um, show my supplies and I've had uh, a very nice lady who is uh, a subscriber and is also bed bound ask me how and where did I keep my supplies so that I could reach them and get to them while I was in bed. So I'm going to show you guys. So first of all is going to be my setup in bed and what I've got. So as you can see here I have one, two uh, of the uh, Ikea carts. These Neither of these is actual Ikea, but they're look-alikes. Got two of those, and then I have like a hospital tray here. Got a table, got some compartments here, then got like a magazine rack, and it does have a space on the bottom to store stuff too. Not too much though, because we need to get it under the bed to uh, work and so we'll start off with with um, what I see and what I'm using while I'm sitting in bed I have a uh, TV tray here and it does have a little box in it so uh, I mean a little drawer in it so that I can put uh, something small in it uh, that I'm using at any any time so um, I do all my computer work on my tablet here so the computer is sat here so that I can watch uh, YouTube and um, TV while I'm coloring. So then we come over to the um, sort of like a hospital tray and this is the surface that I work on right here and I have two compartments over here so this one just keeps some personal stuff like my pills and day timer but the book at the front here is my swatch book and that's kind of like my coloring bible I use that all the time and then this one right here I just have things that I'm always looking for every day and use every day I've got a brush for sweeping away the pencil dust uh, Sharpie, fine liner, uh, there's a gold and silver gel pen, and my magnifying glass, and just a bunch of other stuff. Then we go down to the bottom, and on this uh, magazine rack place, uh, I keep the books that I'm currently going to be working on, and the same with on the sh on the bottom shelf there. I'll keep a I'll keep like four or five books because it's not too it's not you can't put too much on or else you can't get it under the bed. And that's what I do with it is I put it right under the bed like this so that I can work so that I can work on it. Uh, my stuff. So that's what I do. I sit here and work. But how do I get to my supplies? Well, I'm just going to push this out of the way so that I can show you. There we go. Over here, I have uh, the majority of my markers. Stacked right here are all my alcohol markers. I have uh, my budget-friendly ones on the bottom and my Copics on the top. These are Spectrum Noir marker, um, I don't know what they're called, marker storage. And uh, you get six trays in a set, and that holds 72 markers. So I've got two of those sets right now, but I do need to buy several more, and I will need to keep buying them. Then over here... Um, this is a container here, and this is where I keep my shavings. And as you can see, there's a there's a pencil sharp. Oh no, you probably can't see it. In it. <laughs> so 
so there's a pencil sharpener in there and whatever sharpener in there will change depending on what uh, I'm sharpening this is a kuma and um, I use that for um, all my all my soft pencils my my color soft my different color softs and my prismas and um, so yeah I keep my sticky notes here as well just gonna move these out of the way and then over here I have so over here I have these um, little plastic containers and they have diagonal um, shelving in it. They are by Deflecto and um, they have four spaces to keep your markers in and um, I believe someone said that two of them held all of their um, Copic Chow markers when they had the 72 set A and B. So that give you some idea of what they hold it's quite a bit so let's see I've just got some random water-based markers here and then I have my wink of Stella's here I have all the colors plus I have two wink of Luna's um, down here is all my white pens and these are uh, these are my paint pens here I've got uh, random ones there. These are um, some random ones plus the graphic press the uh, graphic uh, line painters. These are really nice. I like those. These are my highlighters. We we'll go down here and we have my brush, my brush pens, and I have my I have my uh, Crayola. So, just pushing it in further. I have my Crayola skin tones there, and these are, this is a hundred set of uh, brush markers, so you can see that it doesn't take up much room at all. Then we go over here, and this is where I have all my Posca paint pens, and I've got a lot of those. Uh, and then this this uh, triangle is filled with. Sakura Decorez. This whole one is filled up with various different uh, gel pens and this one right here is filled up with fine liners. I don't actually have that many fine liners. I've got my Stettlers and my Stabilos here, my um, Papermate Flares and just some random ones over there. So when I need to, when I get to work, I take this tray and I pull it over so that this is now my working space. I am in bed and I'm surrounded by this, this, and this, and this, so that my whole my whole, uh, I have everything I need at my hands here. So let's uh, take a look at this cart. Um, I have my stamp pad and date to date my pages that I do. Over here I have my alcohol markers. So I've got my Bic Fines and Ultra Fines, my Sharpie Fines and Ultra Fines in there. This is my um, budget-friendly alcohol markers that I don't have room for and uh, I don't have enough trays for those yet. This is my small chameleon marker selection and um, actually my Bic Ultra Fines are stored here. They're not over there. They're here. And then my Crayola Metallics are there. So these are all um, acrylic markers except for the uh, Crayola metallics that are stuck there. Then I always have a couple of papers here to use as uh, blotting pages. So down to the next shelf and we have my um, these are the Ranger Distress Markers. They are br brush 
dual ended brush markers. These are my Stettler 325s. These are my mild liners. These are my Stettler 320s. On top are my Crayola glitters. Here I have Mayped Color Pops. And here I have a set of Artist's Loft um, markers. Down at the bottom are just a few odds and ends that I use kind of regularly. And this pencil case here is inside. Inside you will find all my erasers and all my pencil sharpeners. I have quite a lot. This case holds. Go. So in here are all my uh, erasers and all my pencil sharpeners. I have a ton of different kinds of both of them. If you'd ever like me to do a video on erasers and sharpeners, I have enough, certainly have enough in there to do that. So nothing else on the bottom case is worth talking about. So um, if I need it, I pull this other tray over and and this is where I keep my pencils. So I can pull this up to me and put it where this one was. This is when I'm using markers, I'll push it over here, and this is when I'm using pencils and I, I pull it over here instead. And I have one of those um, reaching tools. Yeah. So this is what it looks like. It's a long extended thing here and um, it's got a little thing on there and I use it to push my tray out of the way and to grab my cart and pull it close to me until I can reach it with my hand to bring it to me in the bed. So that is purposeful for more than what it was originally intended. So let's take a look at my pencils. Well first of all if we go down to the bottom that is not coloring related that's just where I have stored all my mixed media and collage glues, glues and mediums and chemicals and what have you. So um, I guess we'll do the next shelf, mark our way up. So on the bottom shelf, I have, you know, this is turned the wrong way around. Okay, so I have do with one hand. I have this. This is a 120 pencil case. These are the ones that I like to use. And in here are my uh, Tombow Erogitins and And then after the Erogitins, I have a 24 set of Koenor Poly Colors, which are here. And then a couple of random, random uh, pencils here. Here I have, oh no, that belongs to that set. So those belong to that. And then I just have four random pencil crayons here. They are Brew. Brunzeal from Holland <coughs> Expression Color. I have four of those. So that's what's in here. Then the next one. This is a big one. I will eventually replace this with a 160 case but for the meantime I don't like these ones because they're big and bulky and hard to move around for me but oh 
No, actually, I won't be getting rid of this one. It's the other one. I put my Crayola Super Tips in here because I was using them so much. They're being in my triangle storage over there was just making them a, a pain. I find um, it's so much easier to use them in a pencil case. Then the last one here is random. All this stuff needs to be put into smaller pencil cases. So in here I have, this is kind of some junky stuff, I have the uh, Stettler triangular pencil crayons. Uh, then I just have the, uh, these are Stettlers, not sure what kind they are. They have the black wood. Then I have some Stettler Norris colors. Some, the, uh, the set of pentallic metallic crayons, and these are some random Lyra woodless pencils. And I didn't, haven't had anywhere to put my tritones that we swatched a couple weeks ago, and so they're just in there. All these things will be put in the case properly. So, on the top, now this is the one that will get repackaged into a 160 and this is where I have all my poly, uh, not poly, my um, Prismas. I have the 150 set and this is, this case holds about uh, 200 so I want to get a 160 pack, then I can keep my Prismas in it, because these are too bulky for moving around. Now this is what a 160 case looks like, and it's much more compact and together and easier to use. And in this one, I have my group Fooners. And it fills up the whole thing because I have 160 of the Brute Fooners. And um, these are the same pencils as the Guang Hui ones. Then we have a 120 case here. And this is where I have... I need to put labels on the spines of these. This is where I have all of my Albrecht Durers up to here. I have the 60 case. Um, what is this? And why is it I say? Oh, okay. Duh. These are a 12, 12 pack of Derwent watercolors. And then randomly from from uh, subscription boxes, art boxes, I got a couple of Karen Dash Museum Aquarelle, and these are three of the Koh-i-Noor Mandaloos watercolor pencils. And what, if anything, is in the last one? Oh, so in this last one, I have a 12 set of Reeves watercolor pencils. These are incredibly ancient. They were the very first... I have to sit down because my back is killing me. So those are my very first Reeves. No, Reeves were my very first set of watercolor pencils. And I've had those for many, many years, and I just kind of keep them for sentimentality. Then over here, I have mostly Derwent, uh, a couple of other brands, but these are all um, uh, graphite, which is water-soluble and does um, gray and black uh, washes. 
So like this set right here, the gray ones, is uh, Derwent Graphitones. And uh, there's a 2B which says light wash on it. 4B says medium wash. 6B says dark wash. And then this one unfortunately broke in half, but I believe it's an 8B and says very dark wash. And that's what the other pencils in in there do too. So that's my watercolor one. Next, I have my 72 cases. And I love these things. They are so they are so small and compact and handy that I kind of wish I had 72 sets of everything. So in here is my Derwent Ink Tenses. 72 to the set, 72 in the case. And then I have this one, which is 72. And in here I have my uh, Derwent Color Soft. That, that's what they are. I can't believe I <laughs> forgot what they were for a minute there. So these are my Derwent Color Softs and they're 72 to a set. So there's 72 in there. And now we are going to move over to my table area, which I will get situated and uh, I will show you that. And now we've moved over to my art table, which is on the other side of the room. Uh, before I show it to you, I'll just talk about this little um, unit that's underneath of the table. Um, this is where I am keeping duplicates. There's not much in it right now except for um, some sets of markers, like my super tips and some other stuff at the back there. So these are my backups so that when I run out of a color I can get a new color here. This drawer right here is completely full of backups of mostly markers. One of them has one of them has pencils in it. I don't need to no. show you that. So here you can see my art table which is actually two tables pushed together in front of some big windows. So if I'm sat at this table I always have um, always have light coming through those windows and the sun never shines directly through them so it's a, a nice setup. As you can see this is where I do my filming. My tripod is there and the camera the video camera that we're using right now is usually attached to that. So let's start over in the corner. Go. So um, this table is never ever 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 tidy. I have my supplies all along the back and then at, towards the front I always have stuff that needs seeing to before I can actually put it away but at least I keep my filming area pretty uh, clean so that I can do what I need to do and that is my awful chair that hurts my back so much to sit in so I'm not at this table much except for filming but the supplies. In the far corner I have Crayola I, I have Crayola um, crayons there which uh, don't get used much but uh, they do a little bit and I like the smell of them and they're just like a childhood reminder so I always have to have crayons. Then I have got a ton load of um, tortillons and blender stumps. At the back you'll see some pencils. Those are all um, pencils. <laughs> there are all the different H's and B's uh, back there. They come from subscription bo art subscription boxes. Then in the next container here I have a few alcohol inks and then in the front here these are tubes of gouache. I have two kinds of gouache. I have um, regular everyday gouache and then I have some acrylic gouache. 
at the back. This next one here is just some ran random pens and pencils. And then, oh, I missed this. This is where all my water brushes are. So, uh, yeah, I have more than I'll ever need, especially since I'd rather use a paintbrush. So, all this stuff right here we're just going to skip over because these are all stuff that I need to see too before I can put them away. And so now we come to the center table. Um, this right here is a Derwent pencil holder and I used to use it all the time when I colored uh, a long time ago. And uh, you don't use it so much now, but you stick your pens in here, your pencils in here, and they stand up really nice and you use it when you're working on a project. You put the pencils that you're using in here so that they don't get lost. That's my Ot light for shining on my working space if we need to. Let's put it out of the way for a minute so we can look at the back here. So, at the back, the first thing we have, let's see if I can get over there without making stuff fall over. Okay, so, first thing that we have is my oil pastels. I have a 24 set of Faber-Castell oil pastels and then I have a box full of old oil pastels which are mainly Sanford's and some, there's a few dregs of um, Pentel, set of Pentel oil pastels that I have had a very, <laughs> very long time everything in there. And then this is my chamois for blending. Okay, so next we come to some more of these uh, triangle holders here with the four parts to it. And this, this, and yeah, just these right here are all my um, black fine liners. And there are water-based ones, alcohol ink-based ones, and uh, water-based ones which are waterproof. And here I have some fountain pens and I'm starting to put fine liners in here too. And I have some random Faber-Castell twistable crayons. Then down here on the bottom I have all my charcoals and I have um, black and white down there and I like using uh, charcoals in my art and I'm going to try and get into using it in my coloring someday. Then we have water soluble stuff here. I have gelatos in there and I have gelatos in here and I also have um, some uh, water soluble crayons and this is an old set of Lyra Aqua Colors, I think they're called, and they're really nice. <clears throat> then I have my chalk pastels and I've got a box here of them and then this one here is all the whites and blacks and grays and um, three random Stabilo Carbacello pastel pencils. Underneath, I have my watercolor markers. In here, I have Echo Lines and Windsor and Newtons. And down here, I have water brush pens with ink in them. I have some I have some spray inks and I put them in pens and color with them. Then the next the next container here is all my uh well not all <laughs> it's some of my acrylic paint. Uh this is the uh mineral spirits we saw the other day. Then over here I have um on the top, it's just some random stuff. Over there are some acrylic <coughs> acrylic ink, inks, uh, just a couple of random ink pads and a date stamper. 
These are my pipettes. This is my terpenoid, which I am using up before I use the mineral spirits. And then we've got some alcohol at the back. And here I have three markers which need uh, re need alcohol putting into them to revive them for one more shot. Then underneath I have a uh, large metal container there which has uh, the majority of my watercolor sets and I also have some watercolor, uh, some liquid watercolor, Ecoline and um, some graphics and uh, I believe there's India ink in there too and that sort of thing. Uh, then we move over here and I've got some makeup sponges for whatever I want to use them Go. for. <laughs> okay, so I just have some random pieces of paper which I use while I'm filming. These are my water containers for um, water coloring. When I actually do my water coloring, I am in my bed using my setup with my two trays. And um, it works very well. I don't make a mess or anything. At This is just for tall stuff. And at the very back there, we have um, my large water color palettes, which didn't fit anywhere else. And these are sponges for smudging all sorts of pastels. And then I have some metallic wax here. I have about uh, about seven of them there and you can't see it but back there is a jar of iridescent um, oh I'm going to have to get it what it's called oh iridescent glaze there we go that makes things sparkly then at the very back in all those little silver containers is every single color of distress ink I have the one inch um, containers of it and they're all in there. Plus there's a few random uh, other makes there. And down at the bottom here, I have my oxide inks. I only have about five of those at the moment. So then over to the back here, these are my big my big uh, distress ink containers there. And here, oh, that was a ruler. It's class see-through, so I didn't see it there. Um, here are my pen pastels. I am one shy of filling this tray. I would like a few more um, useful ones. These are quite dark colors. So I would like to get some kind of pastel, pas a tray of pastels. Then that would be enough for me. That's just a ruler. These are quite interesting. These are water-soluble crayons, and they are incredibly uh, pigmented. The only problem is, is they don't work very well with water. They, they, the, they just don't blend out. But what I like to do with these is rub out the crayon and then use a uh, Gamsol to spread it out. And it makes an absolutely beautiful, very pigmented background. And this just has some random items from my uh, art days. So, last thing that we're going to look at. Oh, here are all my watercolor palettes, and um, it's just art stuff in the rest of it. Now the last thing that we're going to look at, I'm just going to show you with the camera, is my book storage. So on this side right here are my color by numbers, and from here, two, three, four, five, shelves of my coloring books and I'm halfway through filling up this shelf. These are the boxes that my Erogeton pencils came in. The pencils 
aren't in there anymore, but I really like the cases, so I don't want to, I don't want to get rid of them. They're so nice, but I wasn't using my pencils by keeping them in there, so I had to take them out. And the same with this over here. This is a, uh, a copy of a vintage uh, Kohenor polycolor um, pencil case, and it's I really like the looks of it too. So I'm keeping that, even though I've taken the pencils out of it. And sorry, one more thing to go. All on the top here is um, uh, mixed media junk journaling camouflage. Uh, camouflage. <laughs> Oh, okay. At least I said the right words for the most of most part of this. Uh, collage. <laughs> That's the word. It rhymes. Stuff. So we're just gonna look right here. Right here is a case full of Dilutions acrylic ink. I really like those. They're very smooth, and I use those for acrylic backgrounds in my uh, coloring books. And this case is absolutely full of Art Basics, various different kinds of metallic uh, uh, acrylic ink and, uh, no, not ink, paint. Acry metallic acrylic paint. These are quite uh, pricey in the craft world and uh, they are very nice paints with the uh, metallic. Some of them have special effects and others are just metallic. And as I take a quick look, that is that. I don't think I've missed anything for my coloring supplies. And uh, yeah, that's it. So uh, if you, I hope that, uh, that, uh, that enlightened you some on the supplies that I use, but I especially hope that the beginning here when I showed my when I showed my setup for uh, oh just a minute I'm sitting down in the bed because my back is really bad from this I'm in a lot of pain so um, I hope that the setup of how I have my stuff at hand while I'm bed bound it was uh, useful to someone and I hope you can take ideas from my setup and be able to get yourself set up in, in your uh, bed so that you too can be productive and uh, do your coloring while you're while you're laid up in bed. So, um, if there's anything that I've shown you today that you would like to have a, a more in-depth look at, just let me know in the comments down below and I would be glad to show you that. And um, that's all I can think of. So, uh, I will be talking to you again on Friday with our color and chat, and I will be coloring something spooky and cute. So, in the meantime, until next time, bye-bye!